for you right here from Chicago. Looking at Chicago, they took the win in their last game against the Charlotte Hornets. Get up. You're going in. Here we go. Chicago leading. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, Tom Thibodeau gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. We talked about the challenges posed by a player like Ricky Rubio, such a tremendous passer and floor general. Coach said, we know he can make plays, but making shots is where he's been less effective. We need to focus on staying home and for the scoring. Guys, we'll see if they can limit his highlight real dimes. Back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Ramirez, he's checked in for Ricky Rubio. The Timberwolves have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Jang dishes to Martin. Butler with the block. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. While we have a moment here, let's reveal the teams that have been holding opponents to the fewest points this month. The Timberwolves second. Yeah, they've been on a defensive tear lately, allowing so few points, and I think it's the energy we have to play. And the Bulls making a change here. Gibson's checked in. Minnesota also making some changes. Nikola Pekovic comes in for Gorgie Dang. And Wiggins is subbed in for Martin. Pass to Miritich from downtown. Rebound Minnesota. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, Clark, they really shot terribly from downtown in that one and eventually paid the price for it. They sure did. I mean, sometimes you can make up for 4-3 point shooting with a strong inside game, but theirs wasn't quite strong enough. No other screen. Gibson setting a pick for Rhodes. Pass to Gibson. The dish to Miritich. Five to shoot. Shots good by Butler. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Timberwolves trailed by five. Well, you know, Todd Gibson was the 26th pick back in 2009 coming out of USC. And boy, what a get for the Bulls. He's a defensive-minded big man who can defend the four and five positions, and he's also got a very reliable mid-range jump. The Timberwolves shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Well, they're doing okay as the season goes on. They're shooting about 76% as a team. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year but not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Kirk Heinrich, he's checked in for Miritich, and Brooks subbed in for Rhodes. And for Taj Gibson at 6'10", a 7'4 wingspan, that length helps make him disruptive. An excellent defender and shot block. Tony Snell's checked in for the Bulls. The Timberwolves again can't hit. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. The drive by Brooks. On target from 13 feet. And Gibson, very mobile, able to cover ground defensively. Yeah, front. he's got a slender build, Kevin, but he's a worker in the weight room. Slight and light, but Coach Thibodeau says he's the team's hardest worker and he's getting stronger. Here's Neal, and he converts the layup. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two-for-one. Yeah, that's the smart move there. That's how you want to end the quarter, but make sure you get a good solid possession here. And you can always depend on him to put the pass right on the money. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. That's fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. The Timberwolves have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And G drops them both. Chicago's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Heinrich outside. He kicks it to Brooks. And he banks in the layup. Brooks has got his second basket. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Feeds to Wiggins. With one on the clock, and that's not going to go. 
And that concludes the first quarter of play. Bulls lead by four. And back. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Now the key has been the rebounding. Going with an almost entirely new group here. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Gibson. Miritich comes in for Tony Snell. Butler, he's checked in for Kirk Heinrich. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Brooks. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler, the backward. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Miritich in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, the Bulls, known for their hard-nosed style of play, something coach Tom Thibodeau calls, quote, Chicago tough. Center Joe Kim Noah said, I don't think our style would work everywhere. It represents our city. Our whole thing is playing with more of an edge than the other team. He added, we aren't scared of anybody. Guys? They don't back down. Thanks, Doris. And Muhammad kicks to Young. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. G kicks to Wiggins and stolen by Miritich for the finish. And finished off by Rose. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. A chance here to check out some stats on Pau Gasol. Some tremendous numbers for him over the last two games. He's averaging 15 points per game, 11 rebounds, and three assists. The points have been coming for him at a prodigious rate. And that's exactly what they depend on, his scoring ability and his drive. Yeah, and that's exactly what he is, a driven player, Steve. Someone who can take an opposing defense and just shatter it with his ability. Shot clock at six. And it's Wiggins missing. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Miritic sets the screen for Rhodes. Let's it go with a three. Shot's good. And now it's a nine-point Chicago lead. Now he's finally starting to get it going here offensively. Here's G. 17 points in his last outing. Young with no one around. And just miss after miss right now. The prayer from beyond half court is off the mark. And the first half is now in the books. It's the Bulls. They lead by nine. Kevin, I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, the team did a good job limiting turnovers in that second quarter. Was that the key improvement to finishing off the first half to a positive note? Well, that's a big part of it. We're turning it over. We're giving them easy scoring opportunities, and they're getting a lot of confidence. Now he's making the simple pass, hitting the first open man, and it allows us to get our defense set going back. Coach, thank you so much. Over to you guys. All right, Doris, thank you. And we'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter.